It is definitely the topic that a lot of people are talking about the eclipse and more importantly, the eclipse forecast. Will we be able to see it as of 6 p.m. on Friday? Because remember, this kind of keeps changing. But as of today, the cloud cover trend is looking like it's a little bit more. But remember, with clouds, it's all about what kind of clouds and how opaque or transparent those clouds are. And that's when we start to get into more of the details of the forecast. The overall forecast confidence is going up. I really have a good feeling about it so far. Uh, I think we may get to see through it because I think the clouds will be high thin clouds. We will have some lower level clouds that we'll have to navigate. But for right now, let me just kind of show you what we're thinking as of today. The storm system that will be coming our way is out in the Rockies right now. As it emerges into the Plain States, it's going to be coming together. The problem is we are trying to forecast for a 20 minute period three days from now with a storm system that hasn't even really come together. So that's where some of the intricacies of the forecast uh, are still to be hammered out. It does look like, though, generally speaking, we'll have a swath of rain that moves eastward. So noon on Sunday, the rain is still west of us, but the clouds are on the way in. Sunday night, clouds increase, and we will have rain Sunday night into Monday morning. So when you wake up Monday morning, don't think it's all over with because it looks like that rain will be moving east. The big question is how quickly will the clouds follow the rain. As of today, it looks like we do get some clearing in here by midday, and that would set us up for some variably cloudy skies through the early afternoon. And of course, totality coming to greater Cleveland at about 315 or so. Now, as far as the cloud cover outlook, this is the bigger picture, right? So here's our path of totality. We're not the only ones trying to deal with where the clouds will or won't be. But as the shadow of the moon continues to move to the northeast, it gets up into Ohio after three o'clock. And of course, we experience our totality here in Cleveland at 3.30. One forecast model says we just have high thin cirrus clouds. We'll see everything. Other forecast models are showing us different solutions. This is a GFS versus the Euro versus a model called the Graph. The kilometers are the resolution, so it's basically the size of the paintbrush. So we use a very broad paintbrush to paint on the clouds here on the GFS, a little bit finer tuned paintbrush on the Euro, and then a very fine paintbrush on the graph. What this does not tell you, though, is what type of clouds these are. And this is where the meteorology starts to come into things. Because we have a warm front that's going to be moving through, we know we will have some low level clouds. That's the stuff we have to navigate through. But we'll likely also have high level cirrus clouds also because of the general storm system. And I think most of what the models are showing here on this cloud cover is the high level thin cirrus clouds. So I really think things are looking good for us. If we're trying to visualize what it will look like, of course, looking to the southwest, Monday afternoon, noon to three, we will see high thin clouds. And you can see there may be some peaks of blue there. Totality hits at 315. We'll have some cloud cover, but I still think we're going to be able, hopefully, to see through some of it, at least. And then in the afternoon, we will still be dealing with those clouds, of course, but the totality will be over. So. Only time will tell. We really won't know until 3.15 on Monday afternoon because, of course, the clouds are moving. So stay patient and stay up on the latest. We, of course, will continue to bring you updates throughout the weekend and right up until it's the total eclipse over Cleveland.